In this quick video, you're going to learn exactly how to rough in a toilet. Getting these measurements right is really important to help ensure your next plumbing project turns out great. I'm Dylan Spitz from Hammerpedia.com, and today I'll break these dimensions down for you step by step. Here we are in a bathroom. The center of the water closet flange is located 12 inches from the finished back wall. Don't take this measurement from the base trim. Take it from the finished wall. Now, if you're laying out your flange against stud walls, you'll need to add in your wall thickness. So if you're installing half-inch drywall here, make the center of the flange 12 and a half inches from the back of a stud wall. Keep in mind, these measurements are for standard toilets with a 12-inch rough-in spec, which is the most common toilet out there. They also make water closets with a 10-inch rough-in and even a 14-inch rough-in. So if you're just replacing your toilet and notice your flange is only 10 inches from the wall, there's no need to move your flange. Just get a water closet with a 10 inch rough in. Additionally, you'll also need 15 inches of clearance from the center of the bowl to a finished sidewall or any adjacent fixture like a tub or a bathroom vanity. By the way, I'll show you more about rough ins for a vanity in just a second. Keep in mind, if you're just measuring next to a stud wall, be sure to add in the thickness of your drywall. So if I'm putting up half inch drywall here, this measurement needs to be 15 and a half inches. It's also important to know that if your plumbing code falls under the IPC, you'll need at least 21 inches of clearance from the front of the bowl to any obstruction. If your plumbing code is under the UPC, you'll need 24 inches of clearance. Now let's talk about roughing in this water line. So from the center of the flange, you'll want to offset 6 inches to the left and come up 7 inches measured from the top of your finished floor. This is a pretty good height because it will accommodate most base moldings. This is three and a quarter inch base molding, which is really common, and this is five and a quarter. Notice our escutcheon here clears both sizes of trim. This way there's no need to notch your trim around the waterline. A lot of times the toilet supply comes in way too low and can look really ugly like this. Then you have to mess with your molding. It's best to avoid that. All right, I put together this free rough in checklist. It covers the dimensions I just went over for roughing in a toilet, along with rough in dimensions for a kitchen sink, a bathroom sink, and a double sink. I'll email it to you for free. Just click the link in the description of this video. You'll then be brought to a page on my website that looks like this. Enter your email address here. Then a minute or two later, you'll receive an email from me with the free checklist inside. You can print it out, save it to your computer, and keep it for future reference. Just click the link below. 